Anzac Day was held differently this year across the Midwest with the social gathering restrictions. I'm sure most of you stood at your front gate like I did at 10 to 6, listening to ABC Radio in Canberra to, before you laid your wreath. Um, at the Bundiera Aboriginal Corporation's Yamaji War Memorial, unveiled last week, sorry, last year, four men gathered on Saturday for a simple ceremony to honour the 280 Yamaji men who fought for Australia. Uh, two veterans behind the idea and construction of the memorial, Graham Taylor and Ron Cross, spent several years campaigning to create it. According to a spokeswoman for the Bundiera Aboriginal Corporation, the two men were a bit disappointed they could not have a proper ceremony, but they understood the restrictions that were necessary to keep people safe. And uh, it's only a black and white picture, but there's a picture there of the war memorial that I'm happy to say I made a reasonably substantial donation to. And so they... <laughs> Uh, you'll lose me. Um, so I just wanted to acknowledge that. I don't know of any other um, Aboriginal group in Australia that have built their own war memorial, and I think it's quite an amazing achievement.